in all this scenario, you might think that the most people who have taken Brexit badly would probably be the Remainers. However, today we're going to go over that has definitely not been the case for a particular group of Brexiteers. Now you say, Brexiteers? Hang on, didn't they get everything they wanted? Not if you happen to be a Brexiteer who is a unionist. Because for them, it has backfired magnificently. The idea they had and support for it, this will go and will leave the European Union and will end the threat of Irish unification through um, being members of the European Union, has backfired magnificently. And these are the people who are really trying hardest. So I, I urge you um, today to spare a thought for those Brexiteer Northern Ireland Unionists, uh, because for them, they have been backstabbed, betrayed in the worst form possible by the people who said that they would be protecting them the most, the Conservative Party, or to put their full name, the Conservative and Unionist Party. <laughs> So, anyway, this comes from The Guardian, and uh, it goes, it's the article is called, For Unionists in Northern Ireland, Brexit has backfired badly. There had been talk among unionists of street parade to celebrate Brexit Day. Flags and bunting, and maybe even bonfires. A royal visitor. But it hasn't turned out that way. A woman I know lives on a housing estate in one in, lives on a housing estate in one of those small Northern Irish towns, and that doesn't take its Union Jacks down after the summer of mar after the summer of marching season, so that by the end of the winter the wind and rain have whipped them and and had them faded into rags. She tells me that among her family and friends and neighbours, she thinks she is the only one who voted in 2016 to remain in the EU. I know the role the EU has had in peace building here, and I knew it allowed the inward investment of migration uh, when Northern Irish people were leaving, uh, she says. Westminster didn't care about us, nor did it care about the South. The EU did. Why did the rest of her circle vote for Brexit, I asked her. A border as high as you can get, and all the foreigners out, she says. Instead, they got what loyalists and many other unionists uh, of a less uh, 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 less stone stripe with other reasons to support Brexit are calling the act of betrayal. In the interest of keeping a soft border with the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland is to remain in closer economic alignment to the EU than the rest of the UK. And this is to be separated from what the unionists think of as the mainland by what is being described as a border in the Irish Sea. The Brexit deal was unanimously rejected by the newly reinstated Stormont Assembly last week. Boris Johnson doesn't care. The gloomiest faces were those of the Democratic and Unionist Party, which uh, had such an enthusiastic arrogance, sold its voters to prop up the Tories at Westminster in exchange. It thought for a a thought for power and a hard Brexit. Now the DUP feels betrayed by the British and the Loyalists feel betrayed by the DUP. There is no more talk of our precious, precious union. And there are moderate nationalists, the SDLP and Cross Community Alliance MPs, taking their seats in Westminster. So the DUP can no longer claim to be the voice of Northern Ireland. Brexit has hastened the decline of the once dominant Ulster Unionist Party. Uh, the UUP too. Steve Elkin is the new party leader, and it began uh, uh, and began the recent Westminster election campaign boldly declaring it was pro-Remain, and uh, that it would also stand in a in the NI in Northern Ireland's constituencies. Within days, he had to retreat, and the party returned with no MPs. Both the UUP and the DUP lost votes to the Alliance Party, which opposed Brexit. Its leader, Naomi Long, had dispelled its old image of as the nice party for the essential apolitical. It appears that those young people for whom the constitutional issue is not a priority 
As the new ju Justice Minister at Stormont, one of her first moves is to begin to seek to extend a Northern Ireland UK laws protecting women from domestic violence. When the EU's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, visited Belfast earlier this week, he paid tribute to the civic society in Northern Ireland. Both EU and UN bodies provided backing for the work of the NGO's activists who, uh, who had used the three years during which there was no executive in Stormont to build strategic partnerships based on human rights and to bring in same-sex marriage, marriage and, across, um, and access to abortion. The DUP, which insists that Northern Ireland must be treated exactly the same as the rest of UK, vehemently opposed this extension of rights that already existed for other British citizens. There, uh, there was already an invisible border in the Irish Sea. In 2014, it was the DUP minister who ended uh, uh, pay, pay, party, pay parity between the nurses in Northern Ireland and their colleagues elsewhere in the rest of the UK. The trade unionists eventually won, it, won this back in the winter with strikes that were massively supported by the public as a model for post-Troubles uh, integration. Those involved, in, involved included members from both the Northern Ireland's main communities as well as many EU and other migrant workers who, whose right to uh, remain post-Brexit may, may, may very well now be in jeopardy. Any loss would be felt uh, in the teetering health services. After a century, uh, a century after the foundation of the Northern Irish state, unionism is demoralised. Brexit has backfired on them, and the English nationalists who drove it have not hidden their contempt um, for the most British of Britain's subjects in the last fragment of the empire. Now that they no longer need them, the parties in the north are in agreement that far less money has been provided from the treasury than was promised in the deal that reopened the Stormont Assembly and the Executive. The British Secretary of State's response was uh, retorted rudely on Twitter, but they uh, better just get on with it. Sinn Féin has seized on Brexit as a way to pave for a route to a united Ireland. Most nationalists and a growing minority of unionists can see the traction. Given that this would mean uh, making a return to the EU, loyalists are, uh, lo loyalists are hearkening back the opposition to home rule in 1912 let's just do what the whole damn century all over again with with but but this time with a different ending okay hands up anyone so yeah spare a thought for those um brexiteer um unionists because um they got screwed um but like i say we we told them but then again, Northern Ireland did vote unanimously to uh, remain in the European Union. So once again, Northern Ireland got ignored either way. So 